I like when he, what you said about how your level of free will is linked to your level of consciousness. Would you do you think that it's also linked to our level of intelligence? And then how does that play into like transhumanism or blending with AI? Yeah, very, this is a very tricky debate. Yeah, and that is true because mm. my 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 struggle is I'm not sure if we were to implement um, technology into humans and transhumanism was the direction we're going in. Because we're natural and our thoughts and come from the universe, is that then the logical next step of natural evolution? Or do we avoid that and stick to, you know, just being humans and see where that takes us, but it might be slower. So I'm, I'm honestly divided. I, I don't know what would be the better route. Yeah. So I th- for me, I think what it is, is there's this collective consciousness that we're all that we can all tap into which is infinite and i think that's kind of that's i think where we should be focusing on but then so when you you then go to transhumanism or ai usually that means that the ai technology has been created by a small group of people sometimes even a handful of humans and if their agendas or interests are, are not good then it becomes very dangerous because they're essentially dictating the way you think and this is the problem i think with a lot of um social media and search engine algorithms is they algorithmically get to determine they get to like kind of guide our thoughts and our thought processes even like with google auto suggest they alter the things that they suggest to you which then alters the way you think about what should i search for how should i ask questions what topics should i focus on and then by definition the ones they don't suggest are the ones you kind of avoid or you don't think to look look them up and it's like suddenly an algorithm is determining what we actually the way we think instead of connecting individually to source and collective intelligence which i think that is the key to evolution i think transhumanism it could be used for good but i think it's also there's a big danger with that definitely no you are right especially with the way things are going when you look at the metaverse and that's how it's all monopolized with one company like yeah no if that <laughs> if that technology were to get in the wrong hands it definitely would not look good for humanity and and like say the element of free meal would probably be completely diminished because you'd be completely controlled by you know the 1984 robots. <laughs> yeah, the thought police, the Ministry of Truth. Yeah. I tell you what, though, the one if I was going to use a metaverse, like walk around in a metaverse, the last one I would want to do would be the Facebook one. Like oh, yeah. having Mark Zuckerberg in control of my yeah. virtual reality would be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the scary thing is that honestly might be no escape from it in our society. Like it, it could mm. just be implemented as like, this is the standard way we work now. Like, I mean, no one could stop phones being such a utilized part in society. No one could stop the internet. You know, the, these guys with money honestly do just control the world and we could just be living in some dystopian reality where we're in headsets. Yeah, even this could be a simulation. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have an easy way of knowing actually. 